Grandpa Bill! Grandpa Bill! What do you want, kid? Go on now. Look what I found. I know it's yours. Why, this is my old coat. Where did you dig that up? Give that to me right this minute, boy. But, Grandpa, how did you ever come about a gun like that? Tell me, am I not your grandson, after all? Oh, all right, boy. I'm way too old to chase you around anyway. You little brat. So be it. I'll tell you about my younger days. But first, fetch Grandpa a clean glass and a bottle labeled whiskey. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Behind the ashtray. In the old days, uh, good old Sin Town looked way different, Robbie. It was tiny and uninhabited. Oh, but God Almighty, how I loved it. You really can't imagine. Everybody here could find work to their liking. It was here that I met my first true love, Charlotte. But most importantly, it was the safest town in all of the Wild West. Until they showed up. These outlaws were wanted in every city of our state. They were real bastards. And their leader went by the name of Fat Joe. In his thirties, this mammoth weighed more than a herd of bison. And you can take that to the bank. He was used to getting everything he ever wanted. Right from the cradle. And even after his parents died, nothing much changed in that department. He couldn't let a second go by without munching on something. Ugh. The stench, oh, lordy. God forbid that you should ever smell such a thing, ever. But, to tell you the truth, I started hating him way before that. Way before what, Grandpa? Grandpa Bill. After he kidnapped my Charlotte, and along with her, he took all the other women of Sintown. It was then that I understood that I wouldn't be able to go on living without getting my revenge against that animal. And so it began. Those three I took down right away. Ah! Triple kill. Grandpa, you've got a glass in your hand? And a bottle right there. Grandpa, were you not supposed to reload the revolver? Of course not. This is Hollywood, kid. Grandpa, it looks like you're trying to trick me. Oh, yeah? Well, no victim, no crime, kid. <laughs> Grandson, that day my heater lit him up like the sky on the 4th of July. Why, whatever do you mean, Grandpa? When you make jokes like that, I don't understand you, Grandpa. Oh, don't worry, kid. <laughs> I stopped understanding myself way back Move when I was 68. Right. Keep on going. Move out. Cover me. Enemy to your Move left, kid. Out. Move out. Double kill. Move out. 
Right down the middle, son. Double kill. During my younger years, my reflexes were as good and fast as a leopard hunting his prey. And that's exactly the reason why you had them seven kids. Right, Grandpa? Because of them cat-like reflexes? Did it finally get through to you that no bullets of yours could take me down? <laughs> Common, come get some of this. Yes, there were so many of them, and my barrels were red hot. Barrels? You said my favorite revolver, not revolvers. Take a good long look at me, kid. I have two hands, don't I? That means two pistols, kid. Triple kill! Double kill! Double kill! <laughs> and this is all you got? Move out! Double kill! around here, huh? I feel much better after taking you down. To your left, kid. mistake you've ever made. Double kill. Double kill.
and the last enemy was hit. He fell to the ground like a pencil playing a banjo. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. Grandpa, what about Charlotte and Joe? Uh, oh, all right. Just hand me that next bottle, kid. And what happened then, Grandpa? I tracked Big Joe's fat footsteps to the sulfur pit mine. And it was there that they were getting ready to ambush me. The whole pit mine was full of enemies who kept the old man at gunpoint. Like this one? No, a little smaller. So, who's the wise guy here? Come get some. Come get yours. Double kill. Triple kill. Double kill. Enemy to your left, kid. Double kill. Giving away place for free. Fellers, I get it though. The sun and the heat are getting to you. But your stupidity is far beyond me. Revolvers really shoot like this? No, revolvers couldn't. But these two 45 caliber babies sure could. sure didn't know that today's weather forecast included lead precipitation. <laughs> Just 
exactly how many of you fit into one mine. Shooting? <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Yeah. Damn! Yeah. Double kill. Yeah. killed him too and as I have told you before <clears throat> so they lived happily ever after and uh, as a matter of fact uh, I'm late for my poker game no grandpa don't leave I'm already on my way out to get you that next bottle After three months of stakeouts, I finally found his camp. I grasped my trusty six-shooter by the handle. <laughs> but my main weapon that day was my rage. After some scouting, I found Joe's camp. I crept up to the camp and... A gunshot noise. What happened? That damn arthritis. Lucky breaker. So, who's the wise guy here? Come get some. Come get yours. Killing spree. Cover me! Triple kill! Do you know how many gangbangers it takes to change a light bulb? How many, Grandpa? Not even one. They're all idiots. That day, 
The enemy was dropping like flies come wintertime. But it wasn't cold at all. Now, what I really need is a new gun with a little more sane. Double kill. Move on! And then, Joe used his drones. Double kill. Killing spree. Wait, it was at that moment that I understood that the desert is hot enough. Just the right time for Mr. Shell Blaster. Mr. Shell Blaster? Who is that, Grandpa? And I figure now's as good a time as any to introduce you to. Just be careful, he has an explosive personality. <laughs> Genius idea to give you all guns. You're just gonna shoot each other down by yourselves. Triple kill. <laughs> Triple kill. Double kill. Take it easy, fella. Enough lead for all of you. Wait a minute. My hands feel like they're gonna fall off. Double kill. That's enough to catch my breath. Double kill. <laughs> Double kill. Double kill. Triple kill. Double kill. Wait a minute. Whew, my hands feel like they're gonna fall off. Triple kill! Triple kill! So, who's the wise guy here? Come get some! You're so dumb! Come get yours! <laughs> Triple kill! Double kill! Good. Yeah! Triple kill. Hey, Fatso. 
I've come out wherever you are. I just want to talk. Oh, 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 no. Cover me! Move out! Cover me! Go, go, go! Move out! Killing spree. So it seemed like the relentless criminal machine gave way. But suddenly, Joe appeared. You call this a threat? Move your ass, Joe! <laughs> Pee-hoo! You stink worse than a sound of a swine! Move your ass, Joe! Firstly, we have to take down the blue drones. Charge! in your face are you stuffing your face your stomach is a bottomless pit your stomach is die. a bottomless die. pit just die already triple kill I killed him he had the pendant of my Charlotte in his hand but he got to jabber it on and on just before he croaked about how he'd sold the women to slavers I heard about him I seemed to know how to find them, and I kept my way. Ah. Uh -huh. 